Good morning, everybody. It's Jack Cantus here, and I'm back with another episode of Dark Wood. All right, let's talk to our trader guy, because I know we've got a bunch of bullshit that we got from last night's escapades. All right, let's go ahead and sell this baloney. So we have a gun now. That's fancy. So we can go ahead and buy up most of his shit now that we do not need. Well, most of the shit we don't need. Guess we put the clip back. Except, oh, okay, cool beans. I think I needed scrap metal. Yeah, I needed scrap metal. Scrap metal and something else. I just don't remember. Um, fabric, Fabergé. Oh, that's right. I need the the shovel blade though, so I can reinforce the shovel. Okay. So close that. I feel like I needed it for something else. But let's go ahead and reinforce the shovel. That way it doesn't break on us. Upgrade item. Okay, what was it? Sturdy blade. Yeah, there you go. It takes all the scrap metal though, but... Oh well. We'll always find more of that. So, our shovel does more damage. And it is extremely... Durable, I guess. Okay, I guess we can get rid of one of these weapon parts. And that pistol frame. I don't really need the pistol frame right now. Empty glass bottle. We don't need. Shotgun shell. We don't need. I guess we can start using the bandages rather than the pills because the pills only heal a little bit so get a nice little collection of shit put the board away we still need that cable we need the bear traps hmm I'm trying to think we have so much crap in our inventory all right let's talk to the trader guy trade still in the bear traps fuck it why not Get the mushroom. Sell them all the bottles. Uh, selling the pistol. Let's pick up the. Uh, some the gas. Why the fuck not? That's a deal. All right, cool beans. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, I can make one more um, lock pick with that, and then let's put our mushroom in here. Alright, where was I trying to go to? I was trying to go towards the the village, wasn't it? Still got our pistols, still got all our little goodies that we got from last time. Alright. Lockpick. Just in case. And to wear that armor, I know you have to put it in the quick slot, so... We'll wait until we get another um, slot for that. Alright, let's turn off our generator before I'm dumb and forget... Ah, oh, shit, there's worms in here. I'm gonna have to make a torch and deal with them later. Okay, so from the map, there's the pig shed. I'm assuming the village is over here or over here? Broken down truck, silo, tank rage. Alright, let's just hug the south. The southwest and see where we head to. Now that we're armed and we don't fear anything. Oh, wait, I can take that damn stag now. Get rid of it. Where is it? I remember it's over here. These dead ass savages. That was a knife. I feel like I dropped that. For no particularly good reason. Okay. Double check that loot. Uh. Oh, it's actually a real corpse and not a fucking corpse that explodes. I think the dead giveaway is the ones that I'm just being stubborn about it. That they twitch when they're moving. Ooh, bear trap. Let's get some extra scrap metal right there. Hmm. Can't be full up on crap this early. I don't want to go back to the house. What the hell is this cottage? Destroyed generator. Gas and nails. Put it spooky and I like it. Hmm. So can we get in here? Is the question. 
Yeah, you know, I'm pulling out the pistol. I'm not. I'm not having it to say. Oh, you can't get in there. Then how the fuck do you get in there? Huh? Do I come back later? Oh no! Wait, there's a path right there. Oh okay. Ten bucks that path gonna be spooky. I'm gonna draw my gun. I don't trust this. Sh uh, it's gonna be weird. I know it's gonna be weird. Okay. Corpse. Chest key. Small caliber magazine. Small caliber magazine and some bread. Eat bread. Oh shit! Okay, that was creepy. No! Fucking thief. Dead villager. He didn't have anything on him. Asshole. Eh, yeah, it spooked me a little bit. Toolbox, flare, and gasoline. Uh, I can drop the rocks. Take the toolbox. Eat my pill. Take the flare. Um. Yeah. That was weird. Picture on the wall. Oh, and there's fabric in there. Fuck me. Um. Shit, what to get rid of? The wood, I guess. Wow, that was weird. Does this go deeper? No, that's actually a dead end. He called me a thief, even though he was creeping around in there. I don't know if that was his house. Then what's up with the dead guy with the key? Explain that. Hmm. Air crows. Alright, let's go back to our house. I think I can do something with that fabric. I forgot what it was. I think it's increasing your hotbar. Because I already increased my inventory. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. More loot that I don't have room for. Bear trap, nails, nails, no flare. Come back for the bear trap. Where's my house from here? I am at the tank. And there is a bear trap there. Get rid of that. Wait, I have an idea. I just want the metal. I don't really want the bear trap. I put this y'all. Set it up. Can I scrap it? Yes, I can scrap it. Cool. And it gets some free scrap metal. Cool beans. Alright, let's mosey on over. Back to my house. Alright then. I should make a torch and get rid of those. Oh wait, do I have a Molotov cocktail on me? No, that's just normal alcohol. I'm just gonna use a Molly on that. Get rid of them. Because they're gross and weird. Man, fuck, I'm packed to the brim. Hop our upgrade, there you go. And now I can use a different weapon. I could put the armor in there, yeah. Take less damage. Okay, put the matches, put the flares. Scrap metal doesn't have any room. Yeah, I'll carry like an extra clip. <laughs> Seems like a viable use of resources. There's so much gas. Uh, no, I can't fit any of this crap in there. When did I get so much shit? Oh god, that again. Alright, time to get rid of some Molotovs. I had some, didn't I? Molotov cocktails. Well, fuck. I guess I don't. I can get rid of that wood easily. Put that in there. 
What the fuck do you want? Need alcohol? And this one, uh, I need to use the one with gas. What the fuck? Cool, now I got my lights. Alright, cool. Put that there. Need two more. Fuck it. I have all the mats for it. Like that. There you go. Boom. Another stack. Stuff I don't need. Okay. Put the nails in there, I guess. There you go. That gets rid of them real fucking easy. Alright, let's go over here and get rid of these guys. Oddly satisfying, not gonna lie. Oh man, it persists for a while too. Wow, that that stays there a long time. Just put the mollies in there. Okay, cool. Let's head out. Like I said, I was going to the village before I find all this damn loot. Seriously, gotta find a way to get rid of all that crap in there. Now, I need to go talk to Wolfie Man about getting a watch. Because I think he's the one who has a. What the hell? Is that the cottage? Yeah, it's the cottage. He is the one. Oh, shit. More scrap metal. Nice. I got that one's an instant pickup, too. Oh, fuck. Mushrooms. Now you talk to him about getting a watch because then it actually gives you a time frame of how long you can go out exploring and dickering around before you have to go back before the night shows up. In every game, the night is bad for some odd reason. Alright, let's go ahead and try to find the damn village. Because I believe time stands stills in the village. Don't quote me on that. I think this is it. Yeah, road to the village. Hmm. The fuck is that? Gutted pig. Nice pig you got there, guy. Alright, let's load up into the village and see what we can find. Pretty sure there's some nice villagers over here. Diamond shrine. A shiny stone has been pressed in the mud covered head. Leaf stone. Well, I guess I'll leave it alone. For now. Ooh, a wheelbarrow. Or logs. Oh, it's you, lady. Our woods are so beautiful this time of year. Yeah, sure, lady. That is a dead cow. Where's my meat? Should get two kilos of meat for this month. Again, it won't save you this time. You hear me? Give me the fucking meat! I just got so angry. If he ever tries to come back. Fucking quack doctor. On fire. Burn medical bag. Who are you? I mean, why does everybody hate me, man? What do I do? That's like three generators. Can I jump this? Yep. Whoa, what the fuck happened back here? That's like a generator bank. Ugh. Hmm. 
Hmm, that flashlight comes in handy, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know the combination. Chickens! Rope. What now? There is no more meat. The sow is starving. She gives no pigs. Get it or let Anakin, uh, Ant Kit loose. Fuck is that noise? Hmm. Spooky. That's big right there. Very disturbed village, I may add. Oh, I can open it with a lockpick. It's back here. I see. I see. Hmm. Bread oven. Brick oven used to bake bread. Assuming they want me to go over here. Ah, all the lockpicks. I don't have any lockpicks. Fact. So smoky over here. So apparently I need all the wire. Oh, I reload my battery. Can I reload again? Do I have batteries in my inventory? I don't. That's why. Well, that makes sense. See who lives in here. Need a key. Why does everything need a key? Well, this house looks suspiciously normal. Hmm. Who the hell are you? Jar of meat. Bone. Help yourself to whatever you fancy. Just don't tell anybody about it. Hmm. Bandages and claw. That's a bed. So I need lockpicks to come check out what the hell's going on here. Need a key. I'll be back, creepy guy. Thanks for your jars of meat. Cooked with mince meat. Bone. Yeah, you got a lot of crap on me. The max inventory slots, too. Jeez. I'm tempted to kill her. Just to stop her from being annoying. Man, this village is creepy.
The woman stares at the ground when it does look. Yeah, that's not creepy. Kill the pig. Kill the pig. Hmm. Who'd that be? War is... Nobody taught you how to use the door. Sticky with chicken feces. Hey, it's chicken lady. Old lady squints at me, her eyes full of suspicion. She hugs her chickens possessively. Better keep the hands off me, my hands, you bloody scoundrel. The lady puts one of her hands to her ear, mumbling underneath her breath. After a moment, she calms down. I've seen me fair share of things, lived through many a war, but nothing like this. Lords be my witness. This accursed land ain't a place for man, ain't a place for hens. Where Hashkis has lost her mind, her fella has locked herself. Knocked herself up with this abomination. Even the mongrels tuck their tails. Yup, when I saw it, I tell you, poor soul, they burned her fellow with a shack and took the horror somewhere. Everyone got the jitters a little wonder. Old lady smiles kindly, bearing her three yellow teeth. It was a long time ago, but you remember still my little hand, don't you? Show item, plastic chicken. Hell's bells, where did you get that? Where did you find it? The lady seems to stir her. The hens fell silent. I can feel the tension in the air. Holy mother, Jenkins' little hen. Jakin. A gift from me, my little brother. A couple of days ago, he got mad. I told him to stay. You know them brainy fellas. You know nothing. But he wouldn't listen, and he went off with that other fella. Here, take this. He went to go see this fella. See him and never came back. Lady shoves a crumpled photo in my hand. Oh, he went to go see the doctor. The woman trembles violently. The hand on her shoulder struggles to maintain balance. You're all I have, my little sisters. Oh, I remember this place. I do. It's been six years since I've been there last. The road usually leads to another village. You can also take it to get to the city. Not that far away from here. We get there now. These devilish trees have overgrown everything. Well then. Holy mother, this group again. May the devil take him in his blasted violin. Old lady return, uh, turns red and starts to scream, Devil fucks your mother, get away from my house. So angry. Hmm. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Oh, come back. The hell is in there? Always hiding. It's not my fault. I know it doesn't sound too great. My violin, it's a bit broken. I won't play anymore. Sorry. I'm um, sorry. Have you been in that hut? The chicken lady's hut. You're not afraid of her. You're brave. Have you seen her? The pretty lady. She's the most beautiful lady in the world. I watch her through the cracks in the window. She changes, then I watch, then I get more, and gets more beautiful. I play for her. I want her to be happy because she doesn't seem to be the chicken lady. Uh, seems to be. The chicken lady locked her in that room. She's kept in there. She envies her. She won't allow her to see anyone, even me. She knows very well last time, during the last copula night. I fished out a pretty lady's wreath from the river. Yes, sir, the chicken lady knows what it means. Oh, yes. 
I will become the pretty, <laughs> pretty lady's husband. We will walk in hand in hand, sir. I will play her, Mr. Sir. I try to release her, but the chicken lady, she chased after me. She always does. I also looked for a second key at Mr. Jane, but now he disappeared. I don't know how to get into his house. Not so kind, so very kind. You're just like him, my daddy, but my papa has changed, Mr. Just like my mommy. They will not listen to me. They won't hear how sad I am, sir. But I'm not boring you, sir. Please don't go. Please hear me out. Don't go. Nervously grunting you can be heard from underneath the tractor. Perhaps you could help me. Leave board. <laughs> Nod. Please, please find the key, good sir, to the pretty lady's room. The chicken lady has it. Well, Mr. Jane also has it. I saw him recently near the well. He used to play with me. We threw rocks into the well and he looked into our reflections making funny silly faces. Daddy used to say not to do that else my face would stay that way. <laughs> now the water in the well is always hazy and it shows these weird images. Well the wells here in the village maybe you can find him there. We used to hang around often stared into the well as if I was looking to find something or someone. Now I must hide now. Hide from the chicken lady. I will go to that place that they used to keep all the grain in the southeastern part of the silent forest. Will you bring me the key if you find it? I promise to repay you somehow. Me and the pretty lady. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. You said pretty lady? Ugh. She creepy. Hey, chickens. Well, that's about most of the stuff in here. I gotta find the guy with the holes. Oh, apparently you can't use your map in the village. Hmm. What the hell's over here? Mushrooms. No room in inventory. Like fucking always, no room in my inventory. What the hell's over here? More creepy houses. God, those bridges are sketch as fuck. I remember where the guy where's the guy with the holes? Excuse me, pig. Man, you're still at it. There's the well. I need a chain. He's been in his cottage for the last couple of days. He'll end up like the others. I'm telling you. To run off into the woods and disappear. Well then. Who are you? Get away from me. Why does nobody like me? They'll just turn their head for me. I don't think I'm welcome here. My mother today. I don't want to go in there just yet. Where's Mr. Holy Guy? There he is. What do you want? Someone is hiding in the hole. I can barely. Make a silhouette. Looks like a grown man with long, disheveled hair. It's completely covered in mud. Mouths. There we go.
That's why. Because it makes you a shortcut back to the house. That's so you can just like dip in and out of the village at will. That's what I need that chain for. Hmm. Just put the bone in there. Bandages as well. Man, they got a lot of shit. They got a lot of shit on me. Hmm. I got the cable, so I figured out what the chain's for. Oh, uh, what else can I put in here? The nails, and that's about it. Sadly, get rid of that cloth. Ooh. There you go. Got light armor now for a while. Somewhat renewable when I can just keep killing the bugs and the savages. Alright, let me go put that chain in the well before I forget. Then I'll come back here. So you can just keep dipping in and out of the village like this. Hmm. There's the well. Find the well. I ain't going in there yet. Not yet. Hey, guy. What's up? Jerk. Hmm. But that's where I have to end this episode, because I'm out of time, unfortunately. I know we're diving into some weird shit to this game. Like, this game gets a lot creepier. I like it a lot. I got a lot of shit to sell to the trader in the morning. But other than that, thank you for joining me on this video again, guys. I'm going to go ahead and save by touching the oven. That's if you guys own this game, you guys didn't know how to save. It's touching the oven. But thank you so much for watching the video. I'll have another video out for you guys shortly later today. It's more of a little surprise. But thanks for sticking around and watching my videos. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.